Greetings friends and welcome once again to my game room. I'm David McCord and I am a game collector and a game designer and a game maker and uh, somewhat of a game historian. And I'd like to bring you another in the Peg Pastime series of games. This is a little game here called Feli. Morocco, a land of romance, adventure, ancient landmarks, the Kasbah, Marrakesh, exotic temple monuments. It uh, brings to mind a lot of uh, romantic imagery. Uh, it's a land of contrast with the Atlantic Ocean on one side and the Sahara Desert on the other. Feli is a little two-player game that uh, is of an unknown age, but it's been a tradition in the area uh, for quite a long time. The uh, game is very similar to one played in Mozambique called the Butterfly Game, and you can tell that the butterfly uh, shape of the board. It just makes sense that that would be uh, what they'd call the game. It's a simple game of elimination. Each player is just trying to eliminate the opponent, so therefore I guess it could be called a war game. The tactics are more challenging than a lot of little games than, than what you might surmise from looking at this board. Um, after the first couple of moves it's, uh, it gets pretty tricky. Um, let's just take a look at the rules here and then I'll, I'll come back with some closing remarks. There are two possible moves in the game of Feli. A peg can be moved one space in any available direction following the lines on the board. Alternately, a peg may capture an opponent's peg by jumping over it, like in checkers and many other such games. The jump must also follow the lines on the board, and all jumps are optional. No more than one jump can be made in a turn. Players choose who will go first by whatever means they like. Their six pieces are set up on the board on either side, leaving the center space open. The player who moves first can set up their opening with one of three choices. There will be only one possible response from the second player, to jump that first peg. That's when the tactical choices begin to get interesting as the board opens up and that critical center space becomes essential to later maneuvers. So the last player to move wins the game. If a player cannot move because they're blocked, they lose. Uh, if you have no pegs left to move, you lose. Um, it's not a complex game, but a casual game. And uh, a series of games can be played in a short time, and it can be played by anybody from 6 years old to 106 years old. Uh, so it's a fun little game, a great little addition to your game library. And uh, as I've said, it's part of the Peg Pastime series from New Venture Games distributed by Red Hen Toys. If you get a chance to check it out, that would be terrific. I thank you for tuning in to the YouTube channel here and learn a little about Feli and uh, other Peg Pastimes games, historical games. Uh, I encourage you to subscribe so that uh, you can keep up with the new posts and the new types of games that uh, we'll be talking about. If you have any suggestions of games you'd like to hear more about, uh, games you'd like to know how to play, uh, by all means, uh, send me those questions, and uh, we'll do our best to fulfill those wishes. And so, like I always say sometimes, be sure to play every day.